Greetings and welcome to today's lesson. In today's lesson, we are starting on page 23. And instead of multiplying, now we're going to look at divide by tens, hundreds, and thousands. So here we have 42,000 bottle caps, right? 10,000 uh, 10, bottle caps um, in a bag, okay? Avery collects 42,000 bottle caps. She wants to pack them into bags. How many bags will she need if she packs the bottle caps into um, bags of 10, bags of 100, and bags of 1,000, all right? Now, here they've drawn this for us. What it means is that we're going to depreciate the value of everything by one place value. So instead of getting, when you multiply, everything gets bigger by one place value. When you divide, everything gets smaller by one place value. So here, 10,000 becomes 1,000. And a thousand becomes a hundred. So, if um, Avery, she will need four thousand two hundred bags of ten, based on this math right here. So, what we see here is that when you divide by ten, you move the place value over one, and what you end up doing is you end up getting rid of that zero. Okay, and so what you're left with is four thousand two hundred. Right, because all you're doing is moving the place value over. I no longer need this place value zero on the end, so I just get rid of it. Same thing here. Here, and now it's a bag of 100. And so now I'm going to move the place value over 2. 1, 2. I no longer need these place values. So I get rid of those, and I'm left with 420. And on this one, I'm moving the place value over 3 places. 1, 2, 3. I don't need any of those zeros on the end there, and so I'm just left with 42. So it's just the opposite of multiplying. In multiplying, you move things to the left and add place value holders. In division, you move things to the right in the place value, um, the place value chart, and you get rid of the place value, the uh, place value holders you don't need. You get rid of those extra zeros. So here, let's look at page 24. Right? We're going to divide by 10. Now, this can be helpful to see what they're doing here, but what I want us to see is all we're going to do is move the place value over one place because we don't need it anymore, and that means I get rid of that zero. And that leaves us with 5,600. Here, I'm moving the place value over two, one, two. Getting rid of those zeros, that leaves me with 560. And here, I'm moving the place value over three places. One, two, three. I don't need any of those zeros. And that leaves me with 56. All right, so here, what did I divide by? Well, I divided by, how many zeros do I have? One, two, three, four. Now I only have one, two, three, so I divided by 10. And if you want to think about powers, I divided by 10 to the first. Here, how many zeros did I get rid of? I had four, now I only have two, so I moved it over two place values, so that means I divided by 100. If you want to think about powers, I divided by 10 to the second. And here, I got rid of all three of these zeros, so I divided by 1,000, or I divided by 10 to the third. Right? So you can think about that in powers as we looked at in the last lesson. But how many ever zeros we moved over, that's how many get rid of. Right? And you can see here, one zero, a 10 has one zero. Move over 100, move over two spots, 100 has two zeros. So the how many zeros they have can help you. I moved over three zeros. I need a number that has three zeros. All right, let's look at page 25. All right, so here we want to use our place value disk to show it. So I need 32,000. One, two, three, one, two. Okay. Now I'm going to divide by 10. So I'm going to shift everything to when I divide, I don't shift it to the left. I shift it to the right. So now this becomes three and this becomes two, right? This one, moving it over two spots. So it was here originally, now moving over two spots, three, two. And now I'm gonna move it over four spots. One, two, or three spots, right? Three spots. Started here, one, two, three. There we go. Right? Divide, um, divide and fill in the table. Okay? So I need here 530,000. So 500. 
30. Now I'm going to divide by 10. So I'm going to shift it over one spot. 500 at 5 and 30. Now I'm going to shift it over two spots. So here's one spot, two spot. And now I'm going to shift it over four spots. So here was or three spots. One, two, three. All you're doing is shifting it over based on here, okay? One zero, shift it over one spot. Two zeros, shift it over two spots. Three zeros, shift it over three spots. Because this is 10 to the first, 10 to the second, 10 to the third. Let's look at page 26. So now we're dividing by a 10, but not 10 itself, All right? So here, we divide by um, 6 by, by 30, and so what it does is it wants to divide it up here. It divides here first and then divide by 3. You can do it that way, but I think what would be easier is to take, right, and so here's 600 divided by uh, 6,000 divided by 10. This is going to be 200. So 200 is going to be the answer, right, because 6 divided by 3 is 2, and then 0, 0. But what I think would be easier is divide these two numbers first, okay? What is 6 divided by th uh, 3? 2. Now I have three zeros. So dividing by one zero, I'm going to get rid of one of those zeros. 200. Right? So here, it wants us to divide by 1,000. So I'm going to put the answer that they want. Um, but oh, by 100. And this one's by 1,000. But I'm going to do it the way I think is a little bit easier here. Right? So what is... So here would be 6,000 divided by 100 would be 60. Here, 6,000 divided by 1,000 is 6. But again, I think it'd be easier. We're going to do 6 divided by 3 is 2. I have three zeros. I have two zeros. Get rid of 2. That leaves me with 20. Here, 6 divided by 3 is 2. I have three zeros. Three zeros. Get rid of all of the zeros. Right? And that leaves me with 2. And that is the answer. All right? So here, let's just do it the way, let's do it that way. All right? So here we're doing um, 36. So we're going to kind of ignore these things to do it a way that I think is a little bit easier. All right? 36 divided by 4 is 9. Three zeros, one zero, get rid of one of them. Zero, zero, 900. 36 divided by 4, 9. I have three zeros, two zeros. Get rid of two of them. One, that's 90. And 36 divided by 4 is 9. I have three zeros, three zeros. Get rid of all of them. And that's 9. Right? Because all I'm doing is moving over place values. So this way you have to do a couple extra steps. The way I do it, we can do 36 divided by 4 mentally. And then we get rid of the zeros. We're moving over one place value. We're moving over two place values. We're moving over three place values. All right, let's look at page 27. All right, page 27. So here, we're going to divide by, uh, by tens to the powers. So here, we're going to move it over one place to the left. And so 5,000 is going to become 500. Now we're going to move it over two places. So one, two. So 5,000 becomes 50. And here we're going to move it over three place values. One, two, three. That means all those are gone, and that leaves us with just five. Here, to the first ten, so we're going to get rid of one zero. So that leaves me with a 23 and a one, two, three zeros. Okay, we moved over one place value, get rid of that zero. Now I need to get rid of two zeros. So that leaves me with, so here's two zeros, two, three, zero, zero. Right? I moved it over two place values to the left, and lastly, two place, uh, three place values to the left. One, two, three, so get rid of all those, and that leaves me with 230. All right, now it's time for practice on your own. So go ahead and complete this page, page 27 and page 28. You'll do that on your own, and then when you're ready, come back and we will review it together. All right, go ahead and pause the video now.
All right, so have you ever able to finish that? Let's go ahead and look at this together. All right, so here we have 7,000 divided by 10. All I need to do is move it over one place value, get rid of that zero, 700. Two zeros, move it over two place values, get rid of those zeros, 70. Move it over three place values, get rid of all those zeros, seven. Right here, what do I need to divide by? Well, I went from three zeros to two zeros, so I divided by 10. Here, I went from three zeros to one zero, so I got rid of two zeros, so that means I divided by 100 or 10 to the second. This could be 10 to the first. Here, I got rid of all of the zeros. How many zeros did I get rid of? Three, so that means I divided by 1,000 or 10 to the third. Next, divide it by 10, so I need to move a place value over one, get rid of that 10, so that means I have a five, three, four, zero, zero. Right? Now here, I have to go backwards. I divided something by 10. That means that this number is bigger. And so when you're going, when you're dividing an unknown number by 100 equals this, what you're going to have to do is use multiplication to go backwards. So now I'm going to have to multiply by 100, which means I need to add two extra zeros on here. So it's going to be 5, 3, 4, 0, plus two more zeros for two place values. There we go. And here, what I divide by? Well, I divided by, uh, I got divided by something to get rid of three zeros. I need three place values gone. That means I divided by 1,000, or you could put 10 to the third. Either one of those answers would be correct. All right, let's look at page 28. All right, so 22,000 divided by 100. I need to move over two place values. One, two, get rid of those. And that leaves me with 220. Here I have 4,231,000. I'm gonna divide by 1,000. So I'm getting moving over three place values. I have three zeros. So I'm gonna move over three spots. Get rid of those zeros. Four, two, three, one. All right, let's look at number five. So here we have 72,000 divided by 60. So first thing we need to do is take 72 and divide it by Six, and so 72 divided by six, six goes into seven, one. One times six is six, Seventy so minus six is one, bring down the two. Seven, six goes into 12 twice, six, two times six is 12, 12 minus 12 is zero, okay? So you get 100, uh, or you get 12 for that. Now how many um, place value do, do I need to move over? I have one zero here. So that means I need to move over. I get rid of that. How many zeros do I have left? I have two zeros. Now here, we see that we moved over, or, um, we moved over two spots. So we have here um, one spot that we already moved over. We had two zeros. Now we have moved over two spots. So that means we're going to divide by 600. Let's see if that makes sense. 72 divided by 6 is 12. I had three zeros, and I have two zeros, so I get rid of Get rid of those, and I get one zero to bring over like that. And now, 72 divided by 6 is 12. I have three zeros, so one, two, three. Get rid of all those zeros, and then I have nothing to put on the end, and I'm done. Now here, we're multiplying it, uh, dividing by, by powers. Okay, So here, we're going to take away two of the zeros, because I have the number two here. So I end up with three, two, zero, zero. Here I'm going to move over three. One, two, three. Get rid of those. That leaves me at 320. And here I'm going to move over one. Get rid of that one. And that leaves me with three, two, zero, zero, zero. All right. Well, that is the end of our lesson for today. I hope you have a terrific day. And I look forward to seeing you next time. Bye.